If you're working on EK magnetos, you need one of these things right here. I made this one right here a long time ago. It's quarter inch pieces, three sixteenths thick piece of flat metal. It's armor plate. It's got checks on the back side. And, and I got a spark plug right here under. That's a ND of some sort. Uh, it's the gap down there. Different brands. And that's uh, that's one of them press the lights right there. It's got that there quarter inch gap on it right there. Oh, that's a that's a gap and a half that quarter inch. And I did put some uh, tape right under so I wouldn't ground out against the backing plate. This right here, I may it, I can test like three different kinds of magnetos on this fixture. The way it works is I got two holes right there for the EK. And let's uh, fix this a, uh, a, a spark plug wire in that spark plug tire lead out. And 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 and, and, and I got the lime up, I got that lime up pin back there and I got a bolt to go in yet and put that up there, line that up. And this arm right here, I cut that gap in there, kind of like what would be on an engine. It's got a stop rod comes out with a piece of uh, rubber hose on it there as not to uh, wear the thing out. And get right over here and put that thing on there like that right there. And this magneto right here is one of them that, uh, you know, I left the front cover off, got the back and the, and, uh, and the side band on it. Just tighten that up. And this does have new coils. Well, it's the one that we've just been working on. Check back. New coils, new condensers, new uh, points, I think, on this one right here. It's all assembled, and it's time to test it. Now, and I do have another one. The gap on this one, I, like I say, is about a quarter inch. This one right here is about 30 thousandths, and this one right here is a sixteenth of an inch. And just to fix that end right there to the spark plug and just clamp it anywhere to get a ground. And I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but I will bring the camera around in a little bit and we'll see some sparks. But the way the thing works is uh, you just you just disengage it. Now, and it is a nice, let's tighten that up a little more. It is a nice blue spark right there, if y'all could see that. A really nice blue spark is being produced each time. And the pull down right there is about uh, maybe three. Oh, it's not hardly. It's not hardly a quarter. Of, it's not hardly a quarter of an inch. Pretty decent gap there. And uh, the one, one other question, if I'm going to answer a comment question, one of the questions was uh, concerning concerning that uh, oh, when, when does the points open in relationship to the armature opening? Well, that's the reason that you set that gap. That's the reason you set that gap right in there to match up to the drive mechanism that you have. And and what happens is when you when you disengage when you when you trip that armature, that's what that's called. When you trip that the armature will be it will, it will the armature will leave the pole pieces the distance of that point gap so see right there the the points are touching closed and i have a gap between the armature and the pole pieces and and that distance is determined by what drive mechanism you have this one does produce a spark every time uh, kind of maybe a uh, uh, to change over to see if we can get a visual on it this uh, you know that's just a, a lead out that I made up there with the, with the light on it right there and let's just see and, and and the spark will be right in this blue part right here is where the spark will be let's just see if we get anything y'all see that spark 
it's uh oh that's a nice one very nice spark do have a couple more uh, 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 ways to know about that spark and uh, one of them is this that happens to be a fluke uh, voltage uh, tester and uh, and if you want to know if it's producing anything you can put that close to the thing and each time that the magneta is energized you, you can uh, see the flash right there there's a flash in the blue part and then this thing right here is reporting that it's it, that it's current there this 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 tester right here i don't like to use this uh, it works very good but it's got a sharp point on there and the way you use this one is you probe that spark plug war push this point and it's really sharp push it in the spark plug war till it touches the uh copper copper core in there and then snap the mag and, and you'll see a, a light inside this right here to tell if it's if it's energizing the spark plug war i don't like to use this because i don't like to have a hole in my spark plug war but with that said uh, and, and and this right here is kind of generic just kind of going to leave it leave it as is i do have something else to show you carry it right along one of the one of the most important parts of this whole magneta and these things are expensive this the, the price just it just keeps getting higher beyond me i've stated that before why that why are they so high priced you know it's just beyond me there's thousands of them out there in the world it's not a shortage of them by no means but what, of all of this magneta here you could have the best magneta that's available the best one that was ever built you could have it in your hand in your possession and if you neglected to solder the spark plug fitting whatever type it is whatever shape if you neglect to solder that core to this to those two pieces together on either end if you neglect to solder those two together then there's a possibility that the best magneta in the world would not perform as good as it could it's one of the first things that you should do when working on an engine is to confirm that your ends are soldered i'll show you something show you something this right here is the way you'll find both most of them it's just the end with a with the war around like that that is very very bad if you have one like this right here the first repair to be made to the engine ignition system is to solder that end onto that trivial as it seems that is it is quite important it's important enough for me to take the time to whatever how much time it takes me to convince you to make that a solder joint is time well spent use a rosin core solder it would be better to leave it like this than to use an acid core solder rosin core solder on electrical components not to tire the uh, <laughs> I did have that yellow one in there for uh, theatrics. Uh, going back to the soldered one, let's 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 insert that in there. And this right here, uh, we we'll, let's just talk about some test uh, apparatuses. And this right here, that's one of them HEI test spark plugs. All it is is spark plug somebody spot welded a, 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 a alligator clip on but that 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 center electrode is way down in yonder it takes it takes a lot of voltage to fire this right here this is not to be used with a ek magneta it's just uh, that's too great a distance this one is a conventional type 
same same thing. Uh, it was built. The, these two were built as test units. They don't have no threads or nothing on. But this is this is the one to use with the EK is the conventional electrode that sticks out. That's even a quarter inch right there, and that's 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 uh, borderline being too much. When you're asking this, when you are asking this magneta to jump a gap any more than that right there, you are texting. You're asking them coils to do more than they should. Uh, yeah, this one you remember we we used that we used this, but and also too right here this this is a pretty decent. Uh, it's cheap, or you can get these at uh, most anywhere, any auto parts store. Um, and I do have something coming up. Get a pencil and paper on standby so you can take some notes. Have a pencil and paper on standby. Uh, I'll show you something.